Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. Today's Friday, the day after, the day after I got my second COVID shot. Yesterday, things sort of progressed into shit. I didn't feel that bad at first. Obviously, I said my arm, shoulder was pretty tender. And, you know, I had a headache, blah, 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 blah. By last night, dinner time and beyond, I was freezing and thought I had a fever. Not only did I not have a fever, it was actually lower than 98.6. It was like 97.4, but I was freezing. So I had hot soup for dinner. I had some hot tea, like I always do every night. And then I went up and took a scalding hot shower and went to bed. Got up this morning when the alarm started going off for her to go to work. She said goodbye. I apparently obviously fell back asleep and didn't get up until the cat woke me up at quarter to 10, which I never do. I never sleep in like that. And so I checked the sleep app and it turns out I had the best night's sleep I've had in months. So I feel a hell of a lot better today. Still not 100%, like everything is really tender in and around here, but not unbearable and I just still feel a little weird. Okay, enough of the health update. I feel good. I've been watching a lot of videos about lenses because you know, I said I wasn't done with my lens collection. I have what I have for now, which is the Sigma 85 1.4, the Sigma 100 to 400, and the Sigma 24 to 70. Now, I've been going back through all the lenses that I used to have when I had my, my a7 III. You, you know, I mean, I kind of missed some of those lenses. To go over them, I had the, well, I had the 24 to 70 f4, everything was f4. 24 to 70 f4, 70 to 200 f4, and the 16 to 35 f4. Plus, I had the 90 millimeter macro, and uh, what, an 85 1.8 and a 35 1.8. So I got rid of all of those lenses. They either went to the guy that I sold the a7 III to, or I took a bunch of them and I sold them to KEH in order to buy the 70 to 200 G Master. And I had that, I didn't even have that that long, but not even probably a half a year before I sold it to the dude that bought the a7 III. I loved that lens. It was great. It was kind of a milestone lens for me because I had bought like this flagshipy G Master lens. It was the first G, first and only G Master lens that I ever owned, and it was great. Was it twenty five hundred dollars? Great. No, it wasn't. And now that I have been going back and watching all these lenses, I think I kind of did myself a disservice by buying into the fact that I uh, I had to, I don't know, look cool. I had to build cred by walking around with a G Master lens. I don't know, I don't know what it was. I don't feel like I got any better performance than what I had on the, on the F4, 70 to 200, non G Master, it was a G lens. When I went through and I started watching all these videos last night, since I couldn't fall asleep, I, I did see one video in particular that went through as a 2021, here's the Sony lenses that, that you should have in your kit. Every one of them made sense. And when it got right down to it, you know, he really was able to be very convincing on why in this day and age, F4 is not a bad lens. Doesn't have to be F2.8. You can still blur the background and with low light on, you know, most cameras these days, but especially the Sony cameras, you can just jack up the ISO and, and you're not gonna get noise and all that kind of stuff. Now that I have a flagship Sony A7R4, I definitely don't have to worry about noise and all that kind of stuff. So that got me thinking, maybe it's time to reacquire some of those lenses. In particular, the 16 to 35 F4. Yankee Cowboy, I don't want to hear it from you. I know you gave me shit when I got rid of that lens. And, and yes, okay, I admit it. I shouldn't have gotten rid of it. I shouldn't have gotten rid of all those lenses to get that G Master 70 to 200. The 16 to 35 F4 possibly the 70 to 200 f4 i may reacquire at some point it's a good focal length for me it's my favorite like walk around lens like i just don't feel like i need to, to buy the g master again at 2.8 i got great pictures with that f4 so those two lenses in particular now the one thing that i don't know that i'll reacquire again is the 90 millimeter macro the f 2.8 macro lens the sony lens because the autofocus was really hit or miss it, it did not it actually didn't hit as much as it missed for me anyways and i always ended up going manual to do the macro 
because you pretty much have to when you're dealing with that that razor sharp of a of focus and, and what you're doing so i'm not worried about that one besides which i think the 105 2.8 sigma macro lens would be a little bit more attuned to what i want now all that being said all those lenses the reason that i'm i'm looking back at the 16 to 35 and the 70 to 200 f4 lenses but especially the 16 to 35 is one the, the wider field of view but it has oss on it so that coupled with the stabilization in the camera should give me pretty stable images that's what i'm looking for i definitely on the sigma lenses you know like i don't have oss on the 85 i don't have oss on the 24 to 70. i don't really need it for those two things but the 100 to 400 that does have os holy crap like that's that's a huge difference and you can actually see it happening when you're looking through the lens you can see how it uh, you know you move more than you think you do to boom stabilization kicks in and it is perfect so that just kind of got me going now i know when i said that i was going to go with only sigma lenses or not only sigma lenses but at the time i had committed to, to buying these sigma lenses because they were so good and so much less expensive than sony g master lenses I, I don't know if i went down the snob mode and decided that i had to get 2.8 g masters if i was going to do this i definitely don't think that anymore i think the f4 is fine especially because i have an a7r4 so i think that's what i'm going to do as time goes by i will start reacquiring those lenses and this is i'm in no great hurry for any of this stuff and you know i'll start building my collection again i don't know that i need two a6600 anymore especially since i bought the second one to be a still camera and then ended up using it as a run and gun but like i've said before i i tend to use this the insta 361 r as as my filming run and gun filmer that i don't know that i need to have a second a6600 so i am kind of contemplating get getting rid of that i'll keep the lenses though because i still have this you know a6600 built into the center rig granted it sits here all the time with the 16 millimeter but you know i can always take it off not the full center rig but i can i can pop it off of all that shit and then just have the handles on there which is fine i'm just sort of playing around i'm looking at stuff you know how i am i'm always looking for forward and up and the more i continue to learn the more i realize i don't know anything <laughs> But that's the point of all this. So yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. What are your favorite lenses? Like, what would you do? Especially if you have an a7R4 with such massive resolution and all that kind of stuff. Do you think you have to get G Master lenses for that camera? Or do you think that that's just hype and a waste of money when I could probably buy two non-G Master lenses for the price of one? You know how that goes. I'm curious, let me know what you think. And that's all I've got for you today. I'm just going to kick back now. My wife should be home soon and I can eat dinner and then just relax. So as always, thanks for joining me. Like, subscribe and all that shit. And remember kids, forward and up.